Previously on What's with the butterfly? Please, please don't do that. If she starts crying, I'll cry too. Hey, Tadayoshi kun, can you tell me more about yourself? I want to hear what path you walked in the past. So, I ended up telling Rosary everything I've experienced. Being that, or being the likely successor of Kurokawa Zaibatsu, I took a special classes. The family didn't like me, and the servants were only there to care for me. I told her anything that came to mind. Rosary listened to everything I told her. She looked me in the eyes and listened without comment. Oh, you've been on a trouble path. Troubled path, I mean. Wait! Oh, do, do, oh. Rosary Chan, why? <sighs> Rosary? Why are you staring at my face? Rosary looked into my eyes. Chikai! Oh, her eyelashes are quite big. Sure, yeah. Okay, you seem to be alright. Uh, wh what? You look alert and well now, as if all your concern have vanished. Oh, well. <laughs> I had a bad dream, but I'm not feeling bad now. Yeah, I feel strangely alert, like I've been reborn. Your breakfast is ready, so please come to the chapel. Then I'll introduce you to the children there. You'll be there, big brother, so be nice to them. Okay. I'm the oldest. I was the youngest in the mansion, so uh, I... Yeah, I don't know what to do. Fufufu? <laughs> They are nice and honest, so it won't be a problem. Play nice with them, please. Music. Rosary walks out of the room as she finished talking to me. Now, uh, where are my shoes? I find my shoes under the bed and put them on myself. It's a natural thing, but I have to take care of my things by myself. I am no longer Tadayoshi Kurokawa, Saiyan of Kurosa or Kurokawa Zaibatsu, I mean. I am Tadayoshi Kurokawa, a new, fresh person. I have shelter and food. I consider myself lucky. Oh, what just happened? Oh, my muscle ache again, as painfully as before. When I try to stand up, the pain should naturally fade away if I do some physical activity today. <laughs> I'll be an older brother. I only had bad times with my brothers. Yeah, they beat the shit out of me. Yeah. But I'll do my best to be nice to everyone so I can live up to Rosary's expectations. Ooh. Oh, I thought it would be a worn down church, but it actually seems to be in very good shape. Yeah. Looks nice. Yeah! As I open the door, I see a place called the chapel. It's exactly uh, described in a book I first learned about them from. Some parts of the chapels are damaged, but even my amateur eye can see it must have been designed by some famous architect. Hehe! <laughs> or, hehe! <laughs> this dish is mine! Huh? I saved that one for last! Munch! Munch. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know the voice, but screw it. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you? Be quiet when you eat. Oh, God. Oh, those children seem so spirited. I've seen this sort of scene many times in books, but I'm astonished. It's the first time I've seen it with my own eyes. As I blink, my eyes meet rosaries. Okay, everyone, stop fooling around and pay attention. As Rosary speaks up, the rowdy children settle down. Once she's confirmed that the chapel has gone quiet, Rosary walks up to me. 
Whoa! I could feel the children's curious glance piercing into me. Heh! Rosene! Who's this guy? Alan? Don't be rude to your elders! Rosary grinds her fist on the boy's temples! That expression on her face unchanging. I know that has to hurt a lot. Yeah. I it hurts. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Those children called Rosary Rosane. Like she's their older sister. I think she's more like a mother than a sister, but I won't say that out loud. Because, you know, I don't want her to fist meeting my temples. Yeah. Ah! I got it! He must be Rosane's prince! <laughs> Rosane is quite a girl! Um. No! Uh, I'm not her prince! Not at all! <laughs> yeah! A girl with a sp sp sprightly looks and tan skin said I'm Rosane's prince! <laughs> uh, the girl on the left! That eye! Ah! And yeah, tan girl, what's up? She reminds me of a servant who took care of me when I was in the mansion. <sighs> Tadokoro, god damn, dude. There's no other another girl who seems quiet, but it's watching me cautiously. She reminds me of the girl who was my pen pal. Uh, Mirna? Kana? Mirna, where did you get that idea? So, this is Tadayoshi. Did I say Tadokoro last time? Sorry, I mean Tadayoshi. And he's joining our little group today. He'll be an older brother to you all, I suppose. Be nice to him. Okay. Uh... Alan the boy and... Mirna. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a hard time. Mirna, the spirited girl, answered with friendly responses, but... The scared girl who had been watching me hides behind Rosary. Don't be afraid of him, Julia. Introduce yourself to Tadayoshiku. Uh, I'm Julia. Just as Rosary instructed her, Julia greeted me with a scared toad. She's so attached to Rosary. Eh hey, hey, hey. Julia's so cute. Don't you agree? My name is Mirna. Nice to meet you, Tadayoshi! I'm Alan! Good to see ya, Tadayoshi! Yeah, nice to meet you. I had to wince at my power of children. I didn't think they were that lively. Those two are easy to get along with. Tadayoshi-kun, it's your turn now. Go introduce yourself. Uh, <clears throat> I am Tadayoshi Kurokawa. Yeah! And I live here starting today. Nice to meet you, everyone. Yes, well done. Pat, pat, pat. Rosary pats my head as I finish introducing myself. Hey, don't treat me like a child around them. Please do more. Uh. Oops. Eh -heh. Heh, you already on Rosane's leash. Tada, Yoshiku. You'll never become her prince that way. Look, the children are judging me. Damn! Now, that's his introduction is done. Let's have breakfast! Today is soup kitchen day, so eat well and be ready for it. Okay! 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 Food! At last! I was under a lot of pressure for those kids' energetic spirits. Communication, communication, communicating with them is harder to do, isn't it? Hey, Tadayoshi, how far have you gone with Rosary? Huh? I went to the Kurokawa mansion with her, but what about it? How insensitive you are! Don't you understand what I mean? Shirane yo! My Mirna, I have to slap you if you keep saying that. Aww, I wanted to know. <sighs> Children today are quite... Cautious, yeah. Or maybe I'm too ignorant of the world. Ah! Mirna did the thing again. 
I wanted Rosanne to be happy. Huh? What do you mean? Well, uh, Marina is looking for a prince suitable for Rosanne. I'm surprised at hearing an answer from an unexpected source. I yeah, a Soko prince that makes Rosanne happy. One of the picture books Rosanne read to us had a prince. Since then, might have been dreaming of one. Julia mutters in somewhat solitary tone. So, uh, yeah, I was chosen as a prince for the first time, but soon she said I'm not good enough for it. <laughs> Damn. Because Alan's weak, I don't think I can leave Rosanne to him. See? <laughs> uh. It seems that women have the advantage over men here. Don't worry, Alan. I don't think you are weak. Julius, so kind. I know, right? So I love Julia. I won't let you have her. Ma Mirna hugs Julia tightly, as if she's hugging a, a plush doll. Uh, Mirna, you're hugging me too tightly. Julia squirms in Mirna's arm. Mirna's, I mean. It's a heartwarming scene to watch. Oh! Enough! It's good for you to be spirited like that, but people are coming for the soup kitchen. Are they? They gotta hurry then! As Rosary talks about the soup kitchen, the children start eating at the faster pace. You mention a soup kitchen, but can you explain what that is? Yeah? Well, once a month, we make hot meals and give them to everyone in the slums. Oh, I read about that in books. Isn't that when you make soup in a big pot and give it away? That's right. We, can, we can't prepare anything that's expensive, but I hope it will ease people's hunger. Your generosity is great, Rosary. It's not great at all. It's a natural act for sisters who serve God. Uh-huh. It's her rightful duty to help troubled souls. And she takes that to be a natural thing. I think I can't understand why these children like, like Rosary and want her to be happy. So, you should help me too, Tadakura Kun. What? Do I have to help? Of course. You're a member of my family, so you have to. A member of your family, huh? Alright, yeah. I'll do my best then. Her casual words bring warmth to my heart. I want to help her as much as I can. Seems like I'm used to this place already. Nice. Wow, there's a lot of people here. A few moments ago, this place was lonely and bleak. But while we were having breakfast, many people came into the church. Hmm, so this is how people live in the slums? I look around at the people gathering here. It's the same thing I thought yesterday. I don't mean to be rude, but they all look poor. Broke. Damn. People are slightly lining up in front of the big pot. Among them are vigorous child, uh, children and an old man with empty eyes. Oh. Here you go. Rosario-chan, <laughs> An old woman thanks Rosary after receiving a bowl of soup, then bows to her and leaves. I think that explains something from yesterday. Suspicious people in the slums left me alone when they saw Rosary. Hey, you have to stay in the line. Don't worry, you'll get your soup soon. You can ask for refills too. Oh, really? The child does as Rosary says. Rosary likes to help people, but I think she's more sisterly. As I thought during breakfast today, Rosary and the children here aren't exactly well off. I don't think they can afford to do charity work, but they still try to. I'd scoff at it if I were still in the mansion. Tadayashi-kun, don't you stand here. Help us. Oh, uh, my bad. I was so absorbed in watching people. Look, the children are already helping me out. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh, and? What's your point? Hey, Grandpa! Here's your suit! Ah, uh, arigato na, Aran-chan. Here, it's hot, so you better blow on it before you eat it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mana-chan. It's more smart, Mana-chan, ne? Not Mirna, Mana, ne? All right, Mana-chan. Gotcha. Don't say that, Grandma. P please, don't push each other. Fucking get in line, you dicks. Wow, even Julia speaks up at people. So I can't stand around doing nothing if I want to be good at... Good brother, I mean. So, uh, Rosary. Yeah, what should I do? Bring me firewood and 50 more dishes. Hurry. 50? W wait don't tell me all at once. Firewood and dishes. Got it. 50 dishes? Oh, you want a refill, sir? Sure. In the meantime, more people come into church. The quiet church turned into a busy, populated area. By the way, how are they getting money for our dishes, foods, and firewood? Who pays for them? Yeah! And how does Rosary make money? Just a random thought. Hold on. Just a minute. This, no, this better not be some dark ass fucking story. Please, dude. I mean, it would be a little interesting, but I don't know. I have a feeling this is going to be dark somehow. Whatever, let's move on. Are they getting assistance from the government? It's only been 10 years since the war ended. They are still rebuilding, so I don't think they can afford to assist. Well, uh... That's not an important thing to think about. Yeah. We we still have soup for you. Don't panic, everyone. Tadayoshi-kun? When are you going to bring me those dishes? Holy shit! Sorry! I'll get them right away. Damn! I went off in a hurry to get a dishes Rosary asked for. This isn't the time to think about juicy stories. I must do the tasks that are given to me. Hey, you there, uh, no need to hurry, we still have soup to give away, yeah! By early afternoon, I became somewhat proficient at this task. I hope my helping hands eases Rosary's burden. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Onisa. Shinri san kai? So this. Yes, I'm Tadayoshi. I've been here since yesterday. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, genki ga atte ii koto ja. Uh, <laughs> people keep telling me that. <laughs> yeah. I won't tell anyone that I am, in fact, that same Tadaoshi Kurokawa. Because I had a little walk with Rosary a moment ago. Hey, Tadaoshi kun, I think people might ask about you, but don't ever tell them that you're. Family name is Kurokawa. Huh? Why? Even if these slums are far from your mansion, everyone knows that the scion of Kurokawa family is gone. So, telling people would cause you trouble. You don't want that to happen, do you? Y yeah, you're right. I got it. Yeah, no problem. So, I have to do as she asks. Judging by how the old woman reacted, Kurokawa's influence is much stronger than I thought. So it's best not to give out my name to avoid trouble. Uh, yeah, uh, here we go! Next! Oh god, really? Oh god, this is gonna be two same voice, which will be my actual voice. I mean, they're all my actual voice, so you know what I'm saying, guys. Goddamn. Oh, I see a beautiful woman coming up in the line. A dignified woman with a long, black braided down her back. Why are Rosary and that woman taller than me? I'm so jealous! You're beautiful. Girl? Yeah. You look... Fine! So I'll give you some extra, girl! 
I know that man is weak to beauty, so I'll do my extra best. <laughs> right. Don't talk to me so easily. Oh. She scares me. Her gaze stabbed me like a knife flew. Lin? It's been a while. I'm glad to see you here. I'm here because some moron are spending their own money to give away free food. Yeah. You know how valuable food is here? And you're giving it out for free? Why should I pass it up? Your sharp tongue hasn't changed, but it's good to see you're doing well. Oh my god, I'm making the same voice. Whatever. Since you came all the way this, or came all this way, tuck in. Ah, whatever. You don't even need to tell me. Yeah. Seems like the scary woman knows Rosary. She's still as harsh tongue, but it's somewhat softer than the tone she used with me. You know what? I'll just use this voice for her. Uh, did I do something to you? The woman doesn't answer me, but she does keep on staring at me. The color of her eye makes it seem as though she could see through anything. I feel somewhat unease. Yeah, wondering if she's reading my mind. Hey, Rosary. Yes, Lin? Who's that kid with a stupid smile on his face? Me? Does my face look that dumb? I rather, yeah, I'm rather more scared than happy. Yeah. He's Tadayoshi. I'm caring for him as of yesterday. He looks like an insolent boy, but he's delicate, so don't scare him off. Ah, insolent boy, you say. Uh-huh. Hmm. I think I saw Lin's expression soften for a moment. Rosary, you picked up another kid, but you don't know who the hell he is? Her cold, sharp gaze hit me again. That gentle look must have been my imagination. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can't leave anyone in trouble, so... Uh, you do that the way someone else might take in puppies for kittens. Or kittens, I mean. Not my fault if it gets you hurt. Uh. Don't worry. I know what I'm looking for in people. You haven't changed, it seems. Lin stared at me even harder. She is very intimidating. I can't stand this. The atmosphere's getting heavier. Is this what they call mental anguish? I wanted to cry for help, but suddenly, Alan and Mina, dake, yeah, Mina run towards me with loud footsteps. Wow, they're here to help me. Yeah, brothers. It really is good to have a family. Seeing them help me makes me feel like weeping with joy. Way to go, Tadayoshi! Don't be a fool, Tadayoshi! Alan looks happy, but Mina doesn't. And they ran off yelling. Uh, those kids. Oh no! They fueled it instead of helping me out! I can't look at Lin. It's too frightening for me. <laughs> Jeez. Precautious kids these days. Well, it's better than the scum in town. At least they're honest with the they talk to. The Lin turns away to leave. You're going already, Lin? Don't you... Didn't you come here for soup? I don't feel like it anymore. She didn't listen to Rosary and left the church. Hey, uh... Rosary-chan, uh... Who's that Lin person? Yeah! She's a friend who lives here in town. Lynn lives in a very dangerous place in the slums, so I'm always worried about her. But I'm relieved that she looks very well. Rosary's expression does indeed look relieved. But I can't help thinking. Rosary is soft and gentle while Lynn is as sharp as a blade. I can't believe they get along with each other. Ying and yang, I guess. Today's soup kitchen was great success. Thank you for your help, everyone. 
<sighs> I didn't think there were that many people in the slums. I took a break with the rosary in front of a large empty pod we'd used for the soup kitchen. More people came in after Le uh, Lynn left, so I had no chance to rest. Well, well, they looked happy with our soup, so it went well in the end. And Tada Yoshikun, you fit right in with the people here already. I was worried that you would be rude and start fighting. Why? No wonder she's worried about that. I was rude to her when I met her. Yeah, but I don't think Tada Yoshikun's that dumb. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Today I became a new person, you know? Yeah, I decided to be more humble from now on, you know what I'm saying? Perfect! I'm giving you a full, full marks for that. She passed me yet again. But at this point, I've gotten used to Rosary treating me like a child and it no longer bothers me. Yeah, do it more! Yeah! People really are good at adapting. Okay, let's take a little break, then clean up. Yeah, man, I'm tired. I pick up a newspaper in the chapel and start reading it. I was in the habit of reading the newspaper every day. It feels like a long time since I was, since I last read one. They say the economy is doing well. Really? The newspaper says that the post-war fallout is over and our economy, economy I mean, is booming. I would have believed in that article if I weren't here. Yeah. This reminds me of the old saying, seeing is believing. As far as I, I can see in the slums, I don't think the economy is getting better. Wow! Tadayoshi reads newspaper! You look like an adult! I'm impressed, Tadayoshi! That's worthy of Rosane's prince! Newspapers have a lots of kanji that are too tough for me. You must be really smart if you can read them. The children came out of nowhere and are looking at me with stars in their eyes. I am, or am I, getting their respect? Fuck yeah. Come to think of it, I heard many people in the slums can't read. Due to the policies that were implemented after the world, world war, people have to show their IDs in order to work. Even for simple labors. Wow, really? If you can't read and write, you can't get an ID, which means you can't get a job! Damn! That makes the situation in the slum worse. The, guy, the gate between the rich and the poor widens that way. Hey, uh, Tadayoshi! Uh, yes, Alan? Teach us, please! Tadayoshi, you're smart enough to understand complicated kanji, right? So, I think you could teach us! It's fine if you can help us a little. It's great if you can teach us when you're free, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow, even Julia actively wants to learn from me. I realize that, uh, yeah, it's a weekday, but we help out the soup kitchen in the church. I thought all children went to school to learn, but I may have to reassess that. Life in the slums are equally hard for everyone, even children. Actually, I never been to school myself either. Yeah. I learned from dedicated private tutors that my father hired for me. They just, yeah, teach straight out of the textbook with no enthusiasm. One of those goddamn tutors. So I didn't rely on those tutors and I learned things from reading books on my own. I rather like to study. Hey, uh, Rosary, mind if I help them study? Sure, why not? Study with them, please. Everyone, I'll do the cleanup, so you should listen to what Tadayoshi-kun says. Oh, what? No, I didn't mean it like that. How reasonable you are, Rosane! Now, we gotta get ready, Tadayoshi! I'll be waiting in the chapel! I'll be there too! Wait, don't leave me! The children run into the church. Ha ha. They're, yeah, they're really spirited. Yeah. Indeed. They're all really happy to have a new face in the family. I gathered they're all here together 
under some sort of awkward circumstances. But it'd be rude to pry. Yep. Well, I suck at anything physical, but I'm good with things that use the brain, you know? Yeah. Even my brothers who call me a bad omen could admit that I'm smart. Please take care of them, Talaish Kun. Sure, yeah. You can count on me. Yeah. It's the first time Rosary relied on me. And I'm so goddamn happy. Yeah. That's good.